Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we have some great, amazing news from Screamscape. So, Screamscape got some early concept art of the Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift Coaster. Once again, this is early concept art, so this could always change, it probably will change. And this was sent to them a few months ago, actually. Now, since the permits have been filed, Seems like the project's been greenlit, and so he decided to share these on Screamscape. You can see it does visit Screamscape.com. Plenty of great articles there to go ahead and check out. There'll be a few interesting things to note on this concept, concept art. Of course, the coaster itself, the queue, the plaza, but also what's missing, and we'll get to that in a separate section. But... Let's take a look at this coaster. So here's the proposed queue building. So it's Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift. Yeah, love the name because it's a play on the movie Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. There's that she, uh, that C-shaped spike you see there. And you see those four coaster cars. This coaster will be produced by Interman. And one of their first really spinning or drifting model, really a spinning model, but like a control spin make like to make it like Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, where it's, um, yeah, you'll be, uh, drifting only on certain turns, which is pretty cool as well. You can see there's a show building there at the, it's like the exit, so maybe, uh, there's be like one scene or something before you come back in, unless that's a maintenance building, but it looks like there's actual track through there, we'll see. And the queue itself, uh, mostly outdoors. The station building is, again, that warehouse type of vibe that all Fast and Furious attractions are themed after. And you can see the coaster, you can see there, it actually has some inversion, so it loops. You know, literally loops over the um, Starway Escalator like the permit suggests. When it said a loop, I thought it just meant like looping around, but no, there's an inversion here. This would be a first inversion at a uh, coaster here in Universal Hollywood and it looked for a great view going over um, that the Starway Escalator there and it looks like it, it loops both times there but if you also look by the Starway Escalator you'll see and we'll get a better uh, picture coming up next in the last piece of concept art all the Springfield theming is gone and there's kind of just generic stores and restaurants right there uh, very, very interesting. Well, I uh, have to do a breakdown on that. I mean, look, here it is, right here. If you look to the right, you see the corkscrew, right? The black coaster track. I love the coaster track, by the way. It's black and yellow. Love it. But, um, yeah, you can see what is currently the, you know, the radio station building in Lard Lads Donuts, just a generic blue. But most glaringly, the Simpsons show building is gone. That Simpsons show building would be a very tall building next to the coaster track. I'm not sure if that's just just uh, the concept art just don't want to doesn't want to put that in there. But usually the concept art, you know, they put in surrounding area and the re the restaurants there. There's no Duff Beer Garden either. So looks like yes, looks like the rumors are at least with this concept art a little more true about uh Universal. Moving away from The Simpsons by 2028 when that contract expires. This coaster is supposed to open, or rumored to open, maybe January or 2024, maybe 2025, but most likely like 2024. Meaning The Simpsons can be gone and lose all its theming by 2024, 2024, 2025, if this concept art is to be believed, and if that's exactly when this coaster does open. The coaster itself. The plaza area looks pretty cool. It has another some cool patterns. I'm just like a racing stripe type of pattern. Very light on theming, but again, I didn't expect it to be heavy on theming because it's fast and furious. It's mostly about cars and racing, and all the theming's basically in, based on warehouses, right? Because that's where they keep their cars. So I imagined actually giant warehouse building. So I'm actually glad we're not getting a giant warehouse building like we have with Supercharged because that just doesn't look appealing. This kind of looks modern and sleek, uh, just kind of a generic but modern, sleek station building. 
maybe it's like a party type of vibe maybe it's like a house right one of those modern fleet houses on the beverly hills skyline or mountain or uh, in hollywood hills and houses right there it kind of looks like that type of vibe because then you have the cars sitting out front maybe that's like their driveway quote-unquote driveway um i don't know what the theme will be but that's what it could be right because there's a lot of parties and stuff and fast and furious so um that's what it could be but I, I'm not too sure keen on the th I'm not too sure on the theme, but it, the coast looks fantastic, especially with that C-shaped spike. And again, this is early concept art, so the layout and idea will be similar, but the whole theming could, the building maybe could change. So don't get too hung up on the theming. Just this is really for the layout and to showcase that. Uh, well, Springfield is gone, <laughs> and the Simpsons show uh, show opening is gone as well. So very very interesting there but what do you guys think of this concept art i think it looks pretty cool be nice for universal to have a official coaster like a real coaster mommy is fantastic but it's very short this will be like a high fuel high capacity coaster something that every park even uh california event disneyland has a california venture with at the intimate made california screaming slash ready coaster that is a high fuel and looping and version coaster uh something that will like gets people excited right um every coaster every theme park has that not sea world uh legoland even has a taller coaster than uh universal with the the what's it called project x coaster that's even taller than uh anything at universal so yeah universal finally get a signature ride signature attraction very excited for that um, and it should be, again, rumored to start construction potentially in January of next year for a 2024 opening. You saw those permits already filed back just the last week. So, very excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates and updates on this particular project as well. For we're tracking this and or Super Nintendo World and this uh, as Universal Tomcats goes uh, full steam ahead on investing in Universal, which is fantastic. And yeah, become a member if you want to have some cool stuff. And there's some cool merch as well for Halloween you can go get. And as always, have a fantastic day.